This is the Pain Doctor by Fuller Brush Company. It's supposed to be the streak-free way to clean your windows. That's today's review. All right, here we go. And uh, I don't think so. Okay, here are the contents of the Pain Doctor. Here's the box. This is the handle that attaches like this. This is kind of a plastic handle with a cheap pad on the end of it. And this looks like something you put over your feet when you're trying shoes on. And that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. I almost feel like the box probably costs more to make than the actual Pain Doctor. Not real impressed to begin with as far as the materials goes, but let's go try it out on a window and see how it works. The Pain Doctor is a triangular shaped cleaner. And it's not the first time I've had a triangular shaped cleaner. Last year I did the Clean Reach. If you want to check out that review, I'll put a link in that in the description. One thing I noticed is it's kind of moving the dirt around, not really picking it up. See that? It's, the dust is just kind of staying there. But this is used to clean mainly windows and mirrors. As you can see, I've been using it with this microfiber pad. It's kind of dirty because I've been trying it out. And it's supposed to pick up like tiny little squeegees. There's also a scrubbing pad that doesn't work like tiny squeegees. So I'd, I've been testing it out for a few days and here's some results of those tests. I took the screen off of this window because that's going to be the dirtiest window on the house because it's been behind the screen for so long. I haven't cleaned this in a long time. Look how dirty that is. I'm going to try the Clean Reach versus the Pain Doctor. Hope you guys can see how dirty these windows are. That's yeah, pretty dirty. So I'm going to spray a little glass cleaner on both sides. First up the Clean Reach. Okay, it's doing a good job of scrubbing. But it's leaving all that soap behind and there's really no way of getting that off built into the uh, clean reach. Now the pain doctor. Once again, the soap is left behind, but turn it over, you got a squeegee here. That's something that the clean reach does not have. It doesn't have the built in squeegee. Of course, ew, that's nasty. Come on now. Ugh. That's pretty streaked. The first one wasn't, but this one was. Maybe I needed a more solution on there. They say you're not supposed to saturate it, so it's kind of hard to know what's too much and what's not enough. As you can see, it's definitely cleaner. The scrubbing pad can only be washed by hand. The microfiber pad can be thrown in the washing machine. There's two different ways to use the pain doctor. You can use it with a scrubbing pad, which if you use a scrubbing pad, you have to turn it over and use the squeegee. Or you can use the microfiber cloth, which is this, and it doesn't require a squeegee because it picks up the dirt and the soap itself, which I happen to prefer. I think this is kind of, it's kind of useless. Next up, I wanted to try the scrubbing pad on a car windshield, and here's how that went. All right, how about a windshield? If you can see how dirty this one is. Okay, a little glass cleaner. Now for some pain doctor action. Dr. Pain. Okay, now we turn it over. streaky but there we go I think it looks better it's perfect but probably not there's a se section of the center that's also dirty if you can see that I'm just gonna try using a couple paper towels And guess what? That worked just as well. I don't have to squeegee it. No streaks. I don't know. I think the paper towel's a little better. So after trying the scrubbing pad on the windshield, I wanted to try the microfiber pad on the back window. So here's how that went. It certainly is another layer of dirt. I'll spray half the window. Steamy. That's weird. It's January. It's not even that warm outside. I definitely prefer this pad over the other one. The other one just leaves all the soap on there. This one picks it all up. 
as you can see, it's getting a little bit dirty. You can see the difference here. It did a pretty good job. Pretty happy with that. I should probably mention something about the Fuller Brush Pain Doctor. If you remember last year, there was the Fuller Brush Roto Sweep. I was already pretty sure that the Fuller name was being licensed by an SCM TV marketer, but I wanted to make sure, so I messaged the Fuller Facebook page. And at that time, the reps had no idea what the Roto Sweep was. Eventually, when the Roto Sweep arrived at stores and customers weren't very happy with it, the reps had to admit the Fuller Brush name was simply licensed to an ASCN TV marketer and they did not manufacture, ship, or have anything to do with it except for the name. So with the Pain Doctor, it's the same ASCN TV marketing firm that's producing this one. So don't let the Fuller Brush name influence your decision to purchase this. I'm going to show you how this pad goes on there because it's a little bit tricky. You have to look for the section that says top. And there you go. As you can see, I've already used it. I did film something earlier and it didn't come out right, so I'm gonna film it again, but I've already used this. But that's how you put it on. Or right, anybody who has a dog knows what that is. That is the dog putting their face against the window when they're ready to come in, look. So I did some tests over here earlier, and now I'm gonna show you how it works on this section, which has not been cleaned, obviously. A little glass cleaner. And as you can see, this is way better. I mean, this is so much better than the other scrubber they have on there. I mean, it just comes right off. There's something about this pad that seems like it almost grips the window. There's some more up there. That's, in, that's inside. I'm going to go inside and get that. Okay, once again, if you can see... That is the Bailey's face against the window look. The nice thing about this is you don't have to use a paper towel afterward. It just picks up all the dirt itself. I do like that. All right, it's about time to wash these pads here. So you can see they're a little bit dirty. This one, can, the one I like, can go in the washing machine with warm water, no bleach, tumble dry low. This one, I have to just wash by hand. Normally I might wash this with more things, but just for test purposes to see how it does without anything else in there, I'm gonna wash it by itself. I'll be curious how that turns out. This one I'll try to figure out how to wash by hand. All right, as you can see, they both washed up pretty well. This was in the washing machine. Kind of looks like a, a jock strap or a bikini top. This one I had to wash by hand with warm water and soap. It washed, okay. I think this one came out a little bit better. All right, that is the dirtiest window I have in my entire house. I don't know if I've ever cleaned it up because there's usually a screen door in front of it. I moved the screen door over and I'm gonna clean it right now with the pain doctor. I'm gonna try a little bit with water, a little bit with cleaner and see which one's best. Okay, so you can see it's very dirty. Dirty, nastiness. I opened up the blinds a little bit so you can see how dirty this window is. Extremely dirty. I'm gonna do a little bit with water, a little bit with cleaner. I'm only gonna use the microfiber pad because it is superior. A little bit of water, a little bit of cleaner. I'll do the water first. That actually picked up quite a bit of that dirt. What do you guys think? Can you see that? You can see that. One swipe, it did a pretty good job. All right, the cleaner did well. I'm probably going to stick with the cleaner because I, I happen to like using glass cleaner, but I think the water actually did do pretty well if you want to stick with the water. But now let me clean the rest of this window and see how long it takes and how well it goes. If you can see that, it's starting to smear. I think because the pad is getting saturated with dirt and soap, so I'm going to have to clean that off before I can continue. This has been washed about five times, four times in the washing machine and once by hand. This right here is potential area of concern. I'm not sure if that's going to be... Uh, a sign that it's falling apart or just one time one time thing overall it's held up pretty well as far as cleaning it goes but we got two more tests to do so one good use for the pain doctor is something like a television set maybe you don't want to use any kind of abrasives or anything on there or cleaners so you can just use a little bit of water and the microfiber pad and you have a handle here that can reach it now they have an optional handle in the commercial but I didn't see any way of ordering that on Amazon so at some point you're gonna be able to order an optional handle have no idea how much that costs a little spray water on here 
This TV has a lot of dust, some fingerprints. As I said before, the microfiber pad does a good job of picking up dust. Oh, it does a pretty good job picking up dust. That's pretty bad. Maybe it doesn't do as good a job as I was thinking it would. This is a brand new, fresh, well not brand new, but this is a freshly clean pad. It's getting the dust off. It's maybe not as great as I... I guess it's okay. I might have to work on that a little bit more, but you get the idea. But I do feel like this pad sometimes gets so saturated itself that it starts leaving stuff behind. I'd say good, not great. My final demonstration recreates what they have in the commercial. They have toothpaste, hand cream, and hairspray. So we'll see how that works. It's on a mirror like they do in the commercial. Let's try it out. Of course. Let's try a little bit of to toothpaste here. Yum. All right. Nice. Ew. Hand cream. John Florell, the so-called fuller brush guy in the commercial, this better come off or you're coming to clean it off yourself. Next up is some hairspray. Okay, that's what he said it will clean up in one pass. He didn't say how to apply it. He didn't give me any specifications. He just said those three things. Let's see if it works. All right, here we go. And I don't think so. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, no, come on now. Now I'm going to have to clean this off. Oh, John Florell is going to get it for me. It's getting worse. I'm actually making it worse as I keep scrubbing it. I'm making it worse. What if I put some water on there? I am going to saturate it. Screw it. I don't care. Oh, nice. This is great. Now I'm going to have a stinky mirror. What if I use an old-fashioned towel? Yeah, what do you know? That worked. So moral of the story, it's another As Seen on TV demonstration that goes way beyond what the product can actually do. I don't suggest putting toothpaste, hand cream, and hairspray on a mirror and trying the pain doctor on it. For dust, maybe. For those things, not so much. Thanks a lot, Fuller Brush Guy. I think that the pain doctor, when it's using the microfiber pad, is pretty good. I'm not real sold on the scrubbing pad. In fact, that's kind of useless to me. If they included maybe three or four of the microfiber pads, it'd probably be worth it. Otherwise, you're going to have to stop and clean the pad after about every window, which kind of defeats the convenience of having something like this. This was a first look review of the Pain Doctor, but I'll give you an update in a few months and let you know how well the pad held up, because if that doesn't last, it's not going to be a good value. So what do you think? Is this worth $20 to $25? And do you think it would be something you'd use to clean windows? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.